Well, summer's wrapping up. We're pulling everything out of the summer gardens. These are the last of the watermelons. So I gave them to the chickens. They seem to be enjoying it quite a bit. I thought I'd walk you around the uh, summer garden just to kind of show you what's left of it and uh, what it looks like. It's kind of a mess. We got a lot of weeds and stuff, but that's part of it. Uh, there's things that we do different next year and things that we'll keep the same. Uh, okra seems to be still, you know, producing some here and there, but uh, we're going to let the rest of it go to seed and collect it. You can see right behind me the cosmos are super tall some of them have flowered but some are still late to flower but we're almost uh, to the point where they're all going to flower there's one in particular i want to show you this thing's at least 10 to 11 foot tall this one right here look how tall that thing is This thing's a monster. Look at it. So here's what's left of our tomato row. It looks horrible. But there is still some uh, growth on the tips, so I guess we'll leave them in for a while and see what they do. This right here is the not-so-glorious part of gardening or farming uh, in between so we're eventually going to take all this out and then uh, put in some fall winter stuff uh, winter vegetables um, another thing that we're going to do next year is incorporate a lot more cut flowers uh, we had really good luck out here Here's some of the zinnias still putting on a show. Here's the first couple rows that I've taken out. Sorry, take, we have a lot of this croton stuff here in East Texas. It's pretty nasty stuff, but uh, if you catch it pretty early, uh, it won't take over. But uh, what we're gonna do here is um, eventually till these up and put in our first set of uh, winter crops here. Here's some of our last watermelons. Uh, in the patch and uh, we probably had a hundred or so maybe a little more uh, watermelons this year so it's a pretty good year for watermelons um, there's still some vines out there that are still growing but I don't think they're gonna have enough time to uh, produce anything so we'll probably just mow those down and get started with uh, prepping for next year one thing that really surprised me was the pepper peppers are still going uh, we probably got ten out here that are still flowering uh, so I'm hoping to get a few more peppers off these got one here one buried in there a couple more over there so here's a jelly melon these are pretty cool we grew a bunch of these this year I think we'll do another video showing uh, all about the jelly melon later on another one down there these things are super spiky those things Here's an update on the blackberries, and they put on a lot of growth this year. Uh, this is the first full year that they've grown. So um, I noticed that there's a lot of small shoots coming off the sides. I'm gonna end up digging those up and then planting these in between where there's bare, bare spots. So not a whole lot of fruit this year, but next year I'm pretty confident and hoping that they're gonna put on a lot of fruit. We are sure ready for uh, blackberries. There's the last one, so probably have about 10 pretty big established plants now. So next year, fingers crossed, these things are going to produce a lot of berries. I think they're well established now. I may even go in and, since it's so late in the, in the year, go ahead and start cutting, topping some of these off and propagating them uh, from cuttings. Uh, if y'all want to see a video on me doing that, let me know in the comments. 
and that will be a good way to to multiply this patch really quick so hopefully we can add in two or three more rows so here's an example of those volunteers that are shooting up off the rows not actually in the rows but in the aisles um, and I want to try to keep this organized this patch organized so I'm gonna take so here's the row here and these are about three feet and then four feet off that row um, so I'm gonna dig those up and then transplant them in the row keep them organized well I had high hopes for this area I think you saw in another video or my previous videos that I tilled this up and was hoping to um, have it turned over by fall that didn't happen so uh, I'm kind of glad it I didn't do that because um, it, there's a lot of water settling here we've had tons of rain and uh, it just kind of shows me that I need to build this area up a little bit so it doesn't uh, so the plants don't sit in the water so I think what I'll do is bring in some dirt from uh, a different area on the property and and build this up probably a foot or so and give it a nice bed for the plants to sit on so that was a fail but not really so the roost out garden um, what do I think about it it definitely would have worked if we kept hay on it like tons of hay we got kind of lazy um, and let it go but everything seems to be thriving over here once we got past the initial uh, shock of everything being super wet early on in the season and uh, throughout the summer this one held on this garden held on with minimal water so that's a plus um, the plans for this garden in the future apply a lot more hay we're not going to be as strict with this garden it's going to be kind of a free-for-all kind of I don't know how to say it maybe like a whimsical just not super row super straight rows organized I kind of want to make some pathways that go through here um, you know and not straight paths just kind of meandering paths so kind of looking forward, forward to that um, another thing there's a big dirt pile back there and Mary and I were talking that we'd like to get all the weeds out and build some sort of um, bridge so you can uh, walk over it because there's a little uh, ditch that I cut right here that goes to the pond and it'd be kind of neat to you know have a bridge over the pond and you could look out um, into the pond so I don't know it's kind of an idea that we had stay tuned to see if we actually do it I'm hoping we do pumpkins um, they were growing like crazy we only had one problem. We let the chickens out for about a week and they devoured every pumpkin that we had on the on the vine. So I went ahead, mowed everything down and I'm gonna start fresh. Um, but you can see there is a pumpkin vine that made its way into the pond. So I don't know what's going on with that. And the other day I was out here early in the morning and I actually saw one of the koi's which is cool we don't see them very much there's probably 10 in there we think uh, at least we, re we released like 20 in there I'm hoping there's about 10 still uh, um, we have those big uh, herrings that come over here from the lake and uh, they camp out and I don't know if they uh, are able to get some of the fish I hope not but hoping to get them on video one day so another thing we were working on earlier this year didn't quite finish it but I know we will this year is we're making a little a little pathway here and I think I'm gonna put stone across here I want to build this little dam up about another foot so we can have a mini pond right here that we can put things in and then have a stone walkway that goes across here by the willows it just gives you another little uh, way to access the pond to get right up, right up into the pond, so you can, you know, look at the fish and enjoy the view. And right here, we're growing country corn dogs.
don't know if my kids watch this though. They'll say, Dad, you're so cringe. <laughs> so I've talked about things that have failed this year and uh, here's a couple things that were successful. The lemongrass. Marin planted a bunch of lemongrass right here and it is doing good. Right here by the pond. Pretty excited about that. We don't really come out here that much uh, on the back side of the pond, but we've let the willows grow in this corner. And it's cool because it kind of creates like this little like area behind the pond. So it's kind of neat. I think eventually one day we'll put like a little bench and uh, maybe like a canopy out here so you can sit by the pond. Might as well do an update on the compost bin and uh did this earlier this year and i would mark this as a as a win um everything that we put in here is broke down um we threw in a couple i guess bean seeds so the beans are starting to grow out of it so we'll just let those go see what they do uh you can see right here the chickens have been scratching under here and i guess eating the bugs so that's kind of neat Here's the passion fruit, passion vine, and uh, it seems to be doing okay, but something's eating the leaves, and I don't think it's the goats. I think it's deer, so I think deer are coming in from the creek back here and getting in and eating this thing. Should probably set up a game camera and see if I can catch the culprit. What's up, Pacquiao? This is that mean rooster that we rescued, and um, he's A-OK -okay now. Uh, doesn't charge us, doesn't try to fight with us. Um, he doesn't chase after the kids anymore, so that's a, a win this year. What's up, buddy? He's kind of the lone ranger, though. He, he stays to himself. The other roosters don't really like him, but we just let him free range while everybody else is up, so he doesn't, he doesn't mess with anybody. All right, here's another project for another day, but I want to show y'all what we're working on. Um, so there's the roost out garden, and uh, we used to have the potting bench across the property in a different area, but since we're starting to use this garden a lot more, I decided to move Marion's potting bench over here, and uh, this is an old one that we made probably about four or five years ago, and uh, it's still holding up, but the idea is to, um, we want to paint the barn right here, and uh, put a little awning over this area and the cool thing about this this area is it stays real shaded and uh, it's just nice it's uh, cool over here when it's super hot everywhere else so I figured that this will be a good area for us to work on you know planting new seeds propagating doing a lot of that garden stuff uh, in the shade I let this water out so we don't get a ton of mosquitoes this is an old cast iron sink that we got from one of our neighbors and uh, we put it in the potting bench well, one day I'm gonna put a water hose over here so we can have water and then probably put a bucket under there so we can collect the water and have a fully functional potting bench so that was a quick update on everything that we or our gardens as of right now in September and um, not a whole lot to look at um, we had a lot of wins a lot of fails uh, we want to know what you um, what you had success wise what kind of success did you have in your garden and uh, let us know in the comments uh, we do have a uh, announcement coming I know I said that a while back but uh, Mary wants to put a bit video together um, to make it super special uh, if you follow us on Instagram you probably already know or Facebook but uh, we want to do a, a cute video. Um, all right. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.